Blessed love to each and everyone. Do give thanks to the life giver and the keeper of life, Emperor Haile Selassie the first. You are definitely in the tiger's nest. Of course, Honorable Priest Isaac here with you. I hope all is well for sure. What I will be doing, I want to highlight to you exactly what will be taking place in the heavens on the 21st day of March, which is the spring equinox, as it relates to the sun, the heavens, the constellations, specifically, of course, the Pisces constellation known as the fish constellation. Now, what I want to do before I go into that, I'm just highlighting what is taking place in the heavens as we speak. Today be in the 17th day of March, as you could see it here on the board, I'm using Stellarium, this, um, this software, and of course, 556 and where I am in the Caribbean. This is, of course, in the island of Antigua. And for those who do not know, the reason why I'm highlighting also what will be taking place on the 21st day of March is because we are doing a very dynamic three-day event in a few days. Not in a few days. Tomorrow. Listen, <laughs> it begins tomorrow. For those who do not know, we are definitely having a double hike, a double virtual hike to Green Castle Hill. Green Castle Hill specifically right here in Antigua amongst the megaliths, countless of megaliths that align with the stars that we are going to be looking at in a few moments. Vibrate with me. This is very, very, very serious. So when we, when we, when we carry you to Green Castle Hill, it's going to be live, live streaming. I mean, you're going to be sitting in your the comfort of your home or wherever, and you will be sitting with your family, all your snacks on the table, and watching us go in amongst the megaliths and, and, and showing you the vibration and giving you the lectures. We'll have other people with us, historians and the, the elders uh, within the Rastafari faith, the Nyabingi drummers. You're going to be seeing all of the rocks that scatter the hill. You're going to be getting the full um, tour and lectures if you were right there. Two days, eh? The morning hike, Friday morning, and the evening hike, Sunday afternoon. Wonderful, you know? And the Thursday, of course, as I said, we will be having the marijuana lecture and tour. So it's going to be wonderful. Now, for those, uh, uh, one or two uh, people have contacted me. Um, you know, saying, of course, they would love to be there. And I expect everyone to be there. To be very honest, eh? I don't know why you would not want to be at this event. I think I've painted it clearly for you. This is going to be a wonderful experience. I don't know why you would not want to be there. I mean, the, 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 the price for the full package, I mean, it's only $100 for sure. And, and believe me, it's well worth it. Everything is already in place. This is something you will definitely full joy. You know, so so as I said, one or two people have reached out saying that they definitely would like to be a part of it, of course, and um, maybe things are not as good with them as they would like to be. You understand? I know my people, my listeners, we are not lazy people. We, as you know, we deal with mind your own business, so we're not lazy people. We are working people, and we, we, we're not here to go fall asleep on the couch, so it's all right. You know, we can set up a payment plan as well. But at the end of this, I'll tell you about that because I mean, everyone should be there with us for this spring equinox virtual hike and tour. Now, when you look at Jupiter and Saturn and Mercury at this moment here, this is just, this is mystic. Eh? Look at the time, just at six o'clock. All right. Although this is the actual time now, I'm just going to, if you want to say alter it a bit and bring it back, just four minutes. I'll show you why the importance. Now, Saturn, Jupiter, and Mercury, if you look at the alignment. Now, this is how it was yesterday. Today is the 17th. Yesterday it was the 16th. Then let's look at the 15th. You can see the difference. Eh? Look at the 14th, the 13th, the 12th. All right. Let's move that again. The 11th. You could see the dance taking place. In fact, Jupiter seems as if it's getting closer to Mercury. The 10th, we're going backwards, eh? The 9th, the 8th, the 7th, the 6th, the 5th. At the 5th, Jupiter and Mercury are exactly together. You see what I'm saying? All right. The 4th, the 3rd, the 2nd. All right. This is March. We've gone into February. Watch the flow now. 
If you notice, they're moving together. Look at that. Look at that speed. Let's move forward. This is the 22nd of, of February. They're as if they're moving together until about the 25th. Look at that. Look at the speed. You, you saw the, the, the falling star there a moment ago. Live. Yeah. If you don't believe me, go and rewind the video. All right. Good. See? Moving together. They dip behind the sky. Now look at that date. This is the 7th of February. So during the 7th of February, look at Venus. Before the 7th of February, Venus was basically ruling the morning star. And that's the time here, you know, approximately six o'clock, 5.57 going into 5.58, because you know, that's a mystic time. That's when we beat the drum seven times and blow the conch shell. So, so the 21st of January moving on here, the 29th of January, this is where Venus was around this time in the morning, the 30th for a second. So Venus is slowly disappearing, interestingly. And look here, the 6th, the 7th, Venus going away and Saturn takes its place. Interesting dance, very interesting dance. And that 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 cites the new year that on the, the 6 o'clock hour, Venus makes its sink. Because that's what it's all about, you know. When it talks about in the Bible that the heavens declare the glory of God, you know, and the heavens, you know, the heavens declare its handiwork or show it its handiwork and they unto the utter its speech. This is what it is. You know, remember the ancient ones would have seen the planets on a, on a different level, really. That's why the Greeks and the Romans would have connected planets with their mythological gods. You know, and we understood that the planets had their own vibes too, not just the Greeks and the Romans. Even, even in Sumer, you see the, the, the planets also being named after some of these different gods passing through Marduk and these different ones. So it shows you, you know, Mars, Jupiter, all of these are gods, Saturn. And so it shows you that they had some level of understanding that the, the allegory of the dance of the heavens does relate to the reality of what is taking place on the chessboard of life. So here we have now the 7th of February here. Just showing you really what's going on. At that time, that is when Saturn appeared and Jupiter and Mercury, basically the same time. Basically the same time, Jupiter and Mercury on the 12th. And they formed a triangle it is and kept it and then bam you see jupiter and mercury align and now after that alignment it's as if they're departing from each other so that means something eh? whatever it means it means something maybe we can go into what we think it means but that might be just a program by itself that'll take time <laughs> what i mean it's obvious what it means i mean the trinity rising and the, 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 the Bowie Shanti New Year and, and Venus disappearing at the same time. Well, maybe I shouldn't say it's obvious because it could take more explanation. But what I want to go into, as I said, on Sunday, we'll be having that, that evening hike. So what I want to show you exactly what will be taking place in the heavens, bam, yes. I, did, I took out the land and I darkened the heavens so you could see exactly what's going on. All right, so, this is what you will refer to as the the animal or the Greek rendition of how the heavens would look. Now, this is the constellation of Pisces. You see it here. Pisces, the constellation. Okay. Now, March. The 20th of March. 20th of March, the 21st of March. Now, this is where the sun will be on the 21st of March. If we take out all of these animal symbols, this is how it would really look. I would really prefer this. But just for the understanding of those who may not know exactly what's going on in the heavens, this is the sign of Pisces, the fish. Now, what really happens is that where the sun is on the 21st day of March, that is where that is where we are as it relates to the age we are in. So, so if we were in the age of Aquarius, 
the sun would be in Aquarius, but at least on the 21st day of March. Now, it's obvious that the sun is quite close to Aquarius as it moves towards Aquarius in its very slow movement, you know, from one age to the other age. Remember, age is 2,100. Uh, and 60 years as the age and and the sun will move one degree every 72 years and it's 30 degree move to the next age here you know so the sun wherever the sun is on the 21st day of march because the sun moves you know for example let me show you the 21st the 22nd of march 23rd of march um after march is what april gone into april you know, see the sun is moving April. This is through April, May. Just giving you an idea how the sun is going through May. So the sun does that. It just goes through the constellations as the months go by. And as the year goes by, it starts over fresh. So every March uh, 21st is going to find itself around this very same spot under the fish of Pisces. Every March. As long as you're around, that's basically where the sun is going to be. It's not going to appear as if it moves. It's going to be moving a bit towards the Aquarius constellation, but not that much. It doesn't seem so. It's going to take hundreds of years. Let me show you. 2021, watch this. Just watch this, man. Watch this, bam. 3,021. So in 1,000 years, you see the sun has moved from here to here in 1,000 years on the 20th or the 21st of March, the sun will be very almost inside the constellation of Aquarius. But by now, I would say that we would be more in the Aquarius age than the Pisces age for those who study the ages. But anyway, to keep it on this level, this is where the sun is going to be. Watch me good on Sunday when we take that hike to Green Castle Hill. I want to show you why the date is more important than the constellation as such. Because the date now, not that great there, the date now, on that day, that is the day when the sun is on the equator, the celestial equator. So this is the celestial equator right here. You see it? This is the celestial equator, and this is where the sun is patterned. This is the 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 uh, the what you call the vernal equinox or the spring equinox when the sun rests on the equator. There you go, of the heavens, perfectly as well. So it 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 is not the constellation because in the astronomical clock the constellations will move. So in the next thousand years, Aquarius will be where Pisces is. So, so it's not the sun really going towards Aquarius, it's Aquarius in a sense coming towards where the sun is in its mystic understanding from where we are and keeping in mind that the sun is not really going anywhere, neither are the constellations. It's because of the cycle of this planet and its whole mechanism, how it's made up, that gives this whole dance that appears in the heavens. I mean, to me, this is such a wonderful thing. So, so again, for those who already have purchased their tickets, give thanks, man. This is something you definitely will not regret. I have already sat down with um, Sister Soldier, who will be taking full control of the streaming and the the, the video in and of course you know your humble host and servant i myself brother rastri let me tell you again remember that we have slashed it from 120 to just a hundred dollars you understand i'm not afraid to say man even one of those events would be worth that hundred dollars three events eh? three events that is the the morning hike which is friday morning again just for clarity the evening hike, which will be Sunday afternoon, just for clarity, so you're sure, you'll be sure of exactly. And of course, when you contact me, we give you more detail. And of course, the Thursday afternoon marijuana tour and lecture presentation 
wonderful only 100 dollars again if you think and that's if you think don't try to take it i don't expect you to take no advantage of this man we are supposed to be people that we can deal with each other on an up for level if you think that in some way there's a little hitch why you cannot pay the $100 for this event. Because honestly, to be, to be telling you the truth, I, I can't see why no one, anyone I should say that follows the vibes that we do would not want to be there. Straight up, I would not understand why none of you would not want to experience the spring equinox experience that we're talking about. Green Castle Hill, caught a fire the other day, just two days ago. All the rocks are exposed now. This is going to be such a beautiful event. So you should want to be there. You understand? So this is what I'm saying. If you think there's a hitch, we'll set up a payment plan for you. Nobody have to know. Just contact me. Not something we're doing. And everybody just contact me precise at 27 at gmail.com. You know, whether you put up half up front and the other half and we give a time frame or whether it's a quarter, just contact us. Whatever you think that you can do, we will work it out because again, I don't think we're lazy people and I know we're honest people straight up. And I don't see why anyone could tell me why they don't want to be a part of this experience that we are putting on the double hike and the marijuana lecture and tour. I think the space is unlimited, you know? It's not limited space like maybe when we do our lecture um, um, on different webinars. The space is unlimited according to what the, the directors are telling me. So since the space is unlimited, man, I put in it out there, the space unlimited, so you should come on in, you know? Even if you're seeing this video, the Thursday morning, contact me now i'll be looking and waiting for your contact we can work it out and you get your key and you join us for for everything it's going to be such a marvelous marvelous event and also it also will be recorded you know so that you can revisit it if you miss it at the up time but you know being live is the real thing so contact me man no one should miss this event i'm telling you and 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 we go into the heavens and this, this is going to be so wonderful yeah give thanks man life give and the keep of life holy manuel ice last ci ja rastafari I. wait someone asking how to contact me priest isaac 27 at gmail.com blessed love